Welcome everyone, Jeff with half Fast Gaming here. I have a um, little video for you today regarding SCS's venture into trailer skins. Um, they've changed the the system on how things work. Um, in their videos it shows hey you can pick your trailer it's like so on and so forth put your you know put your um, your SII file in company underscore paint jobs underscore jobs I believe um, and I'll show you that in a second and then hey you can pick your trailers right out of the list but it's not that easy they don't tell you basically anything about how to make them show up in game you can see them all fine and dandy in the uh, trailer browser which does absolutely nothing which is unfortunately very sad um, so there's a couple of ways that you can do it um, you can do it the old-fashioned way and just use um, you know make a standalone trailer uh, or a standalone skin, rather, excuse me, by basically renaming the DDS file for one of the companies, like for the gallon oil fuel tanker or something of that nature. So, but I want what I wanted you to do, uh, what I wanted to do rather, is to show you how to get multiple skins to show up, and it is like one of the hardest things I've had to figure out myself um, since nobody else seems to be doing it. I couldn't find anybody in the forums working on it or anything like that so I just wanted to show you what I've found so far. Um, so here we are in um, just you know file explorer so I've created uh, you know just my little hierarchy here um, so you get your def, you get your vehicle, right? So vehicle is they explain where you put your skins. That's going to be, uh, in this case, I'm doing something for a VTC. So uh, it's going to be root folder, then vehicle, trailer, company, and then your DESs and your TOBJs in here. All right, if you don't know how to make these, I'm not going to go through that in this particular um video okay this is a you know if this is for folks that have been skinning that know how to skin stuff like that this is this is what this is for um so here are these okay this is your image files for the trailers basically i took the image the dds that was in um yeah, it's not going to show me. I took the DDS that was in one of the existing folders. Uh, it was the gallon oil one, and just basically edited it uh, until I, you know, liked what I found, and then kind of dropped them in this folder. Now comes the def. Okay, now this is going to be like way over some folks heads I know that skinning stuff with um, ETS2 studio is a totally different kind of animal um, I personally could never figure it out and I can put a truck in game so you know whatever I just I don't get it I like to work with the files themselves um, so in def you have to do all of this you have a vehicle a company and a cargo folder like You might as well just build your own trailer, which is what most people will do. Um, the The trick of that is that you can never pick from multiple skins. I guess is the is the point. And the other problem is, well, I guess it's not a problem, but 
the naming conventions are going to be very hard. So if you have like multiple fuel trailers that you want to use that are from different people, if they happen to name their trailer the same thing as what you've named another trailer, it's going to override it. So um, really, really difficult to kind of work with this, to be frankly honest. But it's similar to when you have a... Uh, when you had a truck that used something from the 389 and it would break whatever it was on the 389. Um, you know, those type of things. That's what's going to happen with the naming conventions. But let's let's get into this a little bit, a little bit deeper, okay? So traditionally, uh, this is what I thought you had to do because this is what it explained was you had to create a... Um, you basically had to create a folder with the... Oh, let me show you that first before I get carried away here. All right, so this is what they tell you to do. So def vehicle trailer fuel, we'll say, in this case. All right, so this is the stock SCS fuel, tra uh, fuel trailer SII file. Now you'll see that I edited this line right here. So I put in the skin. This is how I got it to show up in the game. It does not show the gallon oil one anymore after you do this because this is the stock, you know, this is the stock trailer. This is the fuel trailer. There's no, um, you, you don't, you don't get this to come back if you change this here. You won't see gallon anymore after you do this. So that's that. That's what I did. So I got it to show up that way. But again, that's only going to be the one skin. You can't pick another skin. Um, it's just the whatever you've put in here. So I got to thinking about it. Now that I know a little bit about how loads work in the game and cargoes, um, you have to create a trailer a duplicate trailer for every single um, skin that you want it to show up in. I'm just going to let that set in for a second. You have to create a file for every trailer every different skin for each trailer you want to change. So, just for sake of doing it, I created, again, you even have to create a trailer storage file because the game has to know to load these different trailers that are not the stock ones. So include all these, which is gas one, fuel one, fuel long one, gas long one. That's trailer underscore storage dot PCC dot SII. Then I went to trailer. I created, now that I had the stock ones changed, right? So I had fuel, gas, gas long, fuel long. Those are all the standard SCS files. I didn't have to do anything other than change and edit the, that one line at the bottom. But now fuel one has my next skin. PCC underscore B for blue in this case. So realistically I could have changed this to fuel B or something to you know, make it a little easier on myself, but again, I just wanted to get this thing working, see how it functioned. All right, so now you don't have to do anything in this folder other than your paint jobs. This is all that needs to be in the fuel folder with the company paint job. The problem becomes is that now you have a new, you have a new, new trailer, okay? This is important right here. Trailer dot fuel one now this is going to show up in the trailer browser but it's not going to show up in hauling any cargo and the reason is because you haven't assigned it any cargo 
well I wanted it to haul gas so and diesel so in petrol you need to put fuel underscore l1 trailer dot fuel underscore l1 all in here like so for every one you want it to show up in and then to make it more difficult you have to go into def company it has a trailer look um, it's if you change this to whatever look you've named your file in my case it would have been PCC if you just put PCC it will just pick the PCC look but it won't allow you to pick anything else other than gallon unless you um, comment this out or delete it again this is a stock SCS file this is what I've gathered so far this is not the ultimate guide I don't know everything but this is what I've found to be true so far so here's what we're looking at you get your normal manifest and the root here you're gonna have def you're gonna have cargo and then whatever loads you want that trailer to pull so in my case I, wa I was skinning the fuel the diesel and the gas trailer so I've added new trailers essentially is what this is I've added new trailers to the cargo which is diesel and petrol I have commented out the trailer look so that it does not default to gallon on all of these and in vehicle def I have created a trailer storage file where I have the trailers that I've now newly created with the skins and then in the trailer folder I have added the trailer uh, the individual trailer defs like you can see here gas one it's just, the other one is just gas right so this is gas one it's got the different it's got the blue color assigned okay gas long it's got the blue color assigned PCCB gas underscore L1 notice gas underscore L1 is also in cargo well I didn't put gas excuse me I put fuel let's try that again lest I confuse everything here because it's confusing enough so what did I say fuel so I've created fuel one here it is so if trailer fuel one right so now if I go back here and I go to cargo hey look there's fuel one look at that fuel one trailer fuel one trailer fuel one that's what you have to do that's how it that's how the game picks those picks those loads for you I said oh this trailer can haul petrol you're probably gonna have to watch this back about a billion times it's taken me so far let's see I worked on it for about three hours yesterday and so far one hour today so it took me about four hours to figure out how the system worked um, and it's basically creating another trailer it is creating another trailer for every skin that's it let me know what you guys think hope the video helped you I'm gonna show you what it looks like in game as well of course I gotta fix my view here
So if I go here and here and I click on the gear, which is where you'll be able to see the trailers that you have on offer, there you go. There's the plain colored one and the one with the blue. That is how you get to them to show up. Adding additional trailers. Guys, I hope you enjoyed the video today. It was somewhat explanatory. Let me know what you think in the notes, in the, uh, rather the comments. Um, you know, if you have questions, it's really just copy-paste. Not much more to it. It's just really time-consuming. Um, it's definitely easier than, you don't have to load new models into the game. It's still just you know, image files, so it's not a huge burden on the game itself, which is really the only thing that this has going for it, to be frankly honest. But um, that's been the video for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Hope it was explanatory. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments, like I said, um, and we will catch you next time for some more ATS on Half-Fast Gaming.